Hey everybody, this is Bud Brown, living in Dumaguete City, Philippines. Today we killed two birds with one stone. Every, about every three months I get the oil changed and my uh, tuk-tuk, affectionately called the blue boy. It's a Roscoe three-wheeler as most, most of you know. Uh, and the uh, labor is free, but we have to buy uh, the oil lifetime free labor and <clears throat> it turns out that uh that's what the warranty is on everything you gotta buy the parts no matter what breaks down but they'll fix it and the labor will be free so i was kind of wondering about that somebody had asked me and then so i looked it up but anyway uh also uh the first of the month we make our car payment which by the way we're making easy monthly payments on that I think it's 200 bucks down, 100 bucks a month, something like that. I'm not real sure, but anyway, I do know it's a little over 100 bucks a month uh, payment. So anyway, uh, we went down this morning, and uh, Lori went to go pay the uh, the people at the uh, at the window there, uh, and so uh, during the time when we get there, between I don't know, 7.30 and 8.30, they have what they call their prayer meeting or Bible study. So most everybody is in that, but there's a person or two out in the front in case anybody like us comes by. So while Gloria was taking care of that, I went and told the uh, mechanics in the back that I needed to get the oil changed. And then I asked them because before they didn't have any oil, so I had to go across the street by the oil. So I asked the, the fellow, I said, do you, do you have oil or do I need to, go, need to go buy it? He said, probably better if you went and go went and buy it. So I went across the street and got to, it was uh, 1050 weight. So I uh, can't remember what it was, but uh, Gasoline is and oil is more expensive here than it is in the States. I know that. But it just took one liter, basically one quart. And then, as is my custom, while I'm waiting for them to change the oil, I go across the street about a half a block away, and there's a, the airport. And I go there, they have a restaurant, and I eat and pass the time there. Well, Gloria uh, catches a Normally she catches a tricycle, but I noticed that she caught a, what they call a jeepney. There's the old jeepneys, which were the old jeeps elongated. And then there's the new jeepneys. Seems like I've heard the word jeepney. So I don't know, because we don't use them that often, but they're like a small van with open windows on the side. So she caught that, went downtown. I went to the restaurant and uh, my video starts off because I didn't do any recording until I got to the, I was just getting ready to leave the restaurant and I realized maybe I ought to, I ought to film this. So uh, I was wearing my chest cam and uh, before I left, I said, you know what? I think it's always good to stay in uh, good relations with the uh, guards. So normally I'll get them something just to be, you know, a nice guy. <laughs> so I asked the cashier, I want to get these uh, guards a uh, merienda, which is kind of like a little snack or uh, brunch or something like that. Because it was about 10 o'clock in the morning. I said, I want to guy mom. What do you think? She says, I don't know. I said, well, and I don't want to take him a banana <laughs> or a coconut. She said, why don't you take him an appetizer? Really? What can appetizer? She said, well, we've got uh, some appetizers here in the menu. I said, well, whatever you think would be fine. There's three guards, I noticed. So she said, well, how about a, a quesadilla? Because it was a Mexican restaurant. Uh, uh, Senoritas is the name of it. So I got that. And now the video starts with me taking that out to the guards and uh, giving it to them. Sige, salamat. 
next time. Okay. Amigo, para sa merienda mo. Ah. Inet, ma inet yan. Kesa deya. Okay ba? Okay ka rin. Walang tenedor, kailangan ninyo ano, magkamay. Kamay lang. <laughs> o sige. Wala sa pa yan. Okay. Of course, they were very, very appreciative. And then walked over to the, uh, oh, at the end of the, of the street coming out of the airport, a uh, man was approaching me and I thought, I wonder what he wants. Maybe he wants to sell me something. So uh, he, he thought I just had arrived, I guess. He said, you need uh, transportation? He had a tricycle there. I said, no, my, my cars at uh, at uh, Guinness Oil Change at R Rusko. Oh, okay. Huh? No, it's a Rusko land. Sakyanko, not a Rusko. Oil change. Ah, sa Sakyanko. That's a Rusko and Sakyanko. Ah, no. Oh, salamat, huh? So I walked over there, happened to be a brownout. And so brownouts these days are, for some reason, getting fairly common, meaning no electricity for one reason or another. So I went there and uh, when there's a brownout, then you can expect these companies and restaurants to have a big generator going. So this generator was loud. So I saw the blue boy, blue boy and I looked, I saw I had the keys in it, but you know, I didn't want to just get in and drive it away. I wanted to say, hey, I'm, I'm taking my car, I'm taking my, my vehicle.
So I went and to the window there where Gloria paid her uh, uh, the, uh, the payment. And I told him, I just, uh, there's no mechanic here, but I'm taking my, I'm taking my uh, Carusa, Carusa. So she's, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So as soon as I got to the uh, Blue Boy, lo and behold, there was a guy behind me maneuvering <laughs> the driveway. So I had to wait a few minutes. Finally, he got to where I could pass him. So one guy kind of guided me out. And uh, I was coming down and suddenly I felt a bump. I thought, oh gosh, what did I hit? <laughs> Turns out there was a big rock in the driveway. <laughs> I ran over it. So I yelled at him, Bato means rock. Okay. I got out, and just right next to Rusko, there was uh, people selling uh, buco juice, which is coconut juice. I think it may have some condensed milk in it, sugar, something, but it's got strips of coconut also. And then they'll put it in a plastic sandwich bag. And I saw she was getting straws there, which a lot of restaurants these days, they don't, uh, have straws, so I'm not sure the legality of straws anymore, you know, because of the plastic and the littering and stuff. But anyway, it all had had different colors there. So just to be a smart aleck, I said, I want a yellow straw. <laughs> she says, that's your favorite color? Yeah, I was no, it's not. I'm just, just chica chica. So I said, Pila, uh, man, how much is it? 10 pesos. So I told her, 12 pesos in the lung. So I bargained her up to 12 pesos. <laughs> ah, so I gave her 12 pesos, essentially a little tip. Ibenta or wala 
ka? Yes, sir. Okay na ba? Pwede ako? Yes, sir. Papalipa, ito, ito ang foreigner. Your favorite color is yellow. <laughs> Swerte sa yellow. Bueno, mano, thank you. Ay, sa payan, sige. took off but then I, as I was taking off I realized how am I going to hold this bag of juice and drive both my hands are occupied so I had to put it in my mouth and go down to the corner turn because it's heavy traffic and as I pulled over uh, then I enjoyed the, the, the buco juice but because the little the straw was very narrow the coconut, the strips of coconut, could not go up the straw. <laughs> problems. <laughs> I got big problems here. Coconut, darn it, I hate it when that happens. So I told myself, I'm just going to wait till I get home, which I did. And I put it in the glass and drank it. So anyway, it was a good day. Uh, my uh, most enjoyable moments are, are uh, shucking and jiving with the locals. And somebody had said that they would, they missed me talking with uh, people here. So I kind of missed that too. So these days I'm putting on my chest strap and I'm going and talking with the people. So anyway, thanks for coming by. Simple day here, but it's uh, it's our life. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.